gonna do. So my name is Vale. Well, Valentina, but it's like getting called Vale. But you know, my mom calls me Valentina when she's like, "What did you do?" And I'm like, mm -hmm. "You're in, you're in trouble." Um, but right now I'm getting ready to go. I walk my dog. I just came from the gym, so I showered, got ready, and um, yeah. Um, I'll get to a little poop on me. <laughs> I want to put hand sanitizer. Ah. Okay. Um, here it is. I found it. See? Okay, so. So, yeah, I'm going to rub on me. Um. I'm Colombian. I came here when I was like 13, 14, I think. Mm. I didn't know anything about Miami. That was my first time. I came here and I was like, oh, okay, I'm living here. Um, it was great. Uh, not the beginning, but now I love Miami. Um, so yeah, I went to school here. I used this one baby cream. Bomb. Um, Yeah, I got a cleaner from Mommy there. Loved it. Best decision I've ever made. Didn't waste a lot of money. Pass all my classes. Learned Chinese a little bit. Found the best teacher ever to change my life. Literally, I love her. Um, what else? Uh, mm, um, oh, I'm in Italina. I'm studying psychology and criminology. I love, love criminology. Psychology, I love it too. But I don't know, I found criminology so intriguing. So intriguing. Well, so interesting. Let's. <laughs> my bad. So yeah, I wanna help kids. That's my main goal. I love kids. I always love them. Uh, so yeah, that's why in criminology I just did it for my liking, I guess. Cause I liked it a lot and I was like, I really wanna learn more. So I did it. And um, I love the gym. That's like I lost a lot of weight, and it was exercising, eating healthy, and I saw the changes in my body, and I loved it. So now I'm a gym addict, basically. But I love it. It makes me feel good. Um. What else? <laughs> I'm 22 years old. I'm a Scorpio. I was born November 9, 1998. And yeah, I love being a Scorpio. Um, I've only been in one relationship my entire life with a Scorpio. So, you know, it's crazy. But I love that dude. I still love him. You know, he has a sp special place in my heart. Because, you know spend so much time together, so much memories, and I don't believe you, like, if you really love someone, you're never gonna stop loving them or caring for them, you know what I mean? I still care for him, I still talk to him here and there, but, like, obviously the attraction is not as how it was before, so we're not together, no, I don't think we will ever be together again, because we both grew up. For different people, you know. 
um, would I ever get in a relationship? Hmm. That's an interesting question. I think so, but with the right person. Like, if I'm not fully being treated like who I want to be treated, I'm not going to settle down. Like, there's no way in hell. Because people are just going around downtown. Like, it's all good and hurting people. Like, that's not me. Like, mm -mm. I'm going to tell you straight up what's up. I don't waste my time. Uh, right now, I'm not looking for anything, a relationship or anything like that. I want to focus on me. So, I'm getting my traveling, getting my degree, like, enjoying my life as much as possible. I definitely don't think I'm the kind of person to just like like I give my all so like I'm not gonna settle down for average or someone that I don't see a future with or that I'm trying to build something with like if I do see it obviously I'm gonna stick around and work things out but if I don't why would you stay like I'm here for the long term. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, what else? Something interesting about me. I was a swimmer for like four years, I could say. I loved it. I had like a little... The main reason I lost was because I had like a little inconvenience with my coaches. And I decided to leave. I was like, it's a lot of work, a lot of pressure. And I was like, this is not what I love, love, love. And he, for that sport, you got to love it to keep going harder and harder and dedication. And I did not have it. Like, after the four years, I was like, I want to live my life. I don't want to keep doing this. So, that's what I did. And... Now, um, the main reason, another question that, you know, people might think it's interesting. The main reason I decided to start my YouTube channel was because I really don't have a purpose, like a beauty guru or like nothing like that. Like, it's just kind of me talking. What's going on in my life? Kind of like a vlog maybe give you some tips here and there that i know uh, maybe how i lost weight how i got my hair pretty long i've always that's another thing i always have really short hair my entire life this is the longest i've ever had it and i don't think i'm ever gonna cut it i love it so yeah like those little things maybe some you know the workouts that i do like it's just kind of my life like i don't you know and yeah, maybe you guys did. Go follow me because don't, it's okay. There are so many other people in this world that you can watch, and then you, you know, you watch and match with them. That's how I feel. That's how, when I go on YouTube, I'm like, okay, you know, this person is kind of similar to me. I kind of like them, they're good people. Like, mm, okay, so yeah. Um, well, yeah, I hope you guys liked it. I'm ready. This is all I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna walk my doggy. <laughs> Thank you guys.